Hey everybody, Cajun Coin Hunter here, aka Boudreaux, and what's cooking with Cajun? And there's our host, Miss Missy. How you doing, Shy? As you can see, we got the black pot out. The big black pot. Oh yeah. We got some chicken right there. We got some tasso and smoked sausage. And then we got the seasonings that's going in there. We got the onions, the onions, or zoyons, as a uh, old Jew Stan Will Song used to say. Onions, red bell pepper, green bell pepper. Oh, and some onion tops. Well, y'all call them green onions in certain parts of the country, but we call them onion tops down here. It's green onions, you know, with the little bitty pencil root on it. Replant it. All right, we making a chicken sausage and tasso sauce piquant tonight. That's what we're doing. Oh, Randy with RXTX and Simon with Yes I Can Barbecue, Sleeper Barbecue, which is, uh, whoops, oops, I lost a piece of chicken that fell on the grill. Lance. Sleep the barbecue. And you know the regular crowd there. I think old Russ, yeah, he was there the other night. Smoky Ribs Barbecue. He was there the other night in the live panel. Gave me compliments, said I was losing weight. I said, I hope not. I'm supposed to be gaining. <laughs> I I trim my you know, remember I shaved my goatee and all that a while back? Yeah. That's what threw him off. So anyway. That's what's cooking. So, as soon as she browns all this stuff down, we're going to show y'all the next step. Alright, catch y'all in a little bit. Alright, we are back. Alright, that chicken is browned down a lot. See that? See how she does that? Brown that chicken down nice and brown. And we're going to put that in an ice cream bowl. One in five quarts. I think that's a five quart. Let's see. Full quart. Okay, there used to be five quarts. Okay. The ice cream buckets years ago. All right. See. Oh, look the grill on the bottom of that pot. All right. Now the sausage and tasso is going in. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, she's going to brown that down a little bit, uh, and then we'll uh, go to step three. All right, be back in a bit. All right, we are back. Change hands here on this holder. It's not a gimbal, but it's my regular old tripod that the phone's on. All right, she's going to take that out, put that in the... Ice cream bucket. Now she did add a little bit of water to it earlier. Just a, a little bit of water. Okay, now. Me gonna get out the way. Drop the oh, onion. Drop the onion. That's all right. They bathed a little long hair for a while. We're gonna get it. All right. Now she's gone. We're gonna sweat, sweat that down. Caramelize it, kinda. Yeah. Boy, you can smell all that. Mmm. Smell of vision is what we need right now. And I'm going to put a little bit of diced tomatoes. Yeah, we're going to, we'll get to that in a minute. How 
long you think that'll be right there, Miss Missy? I don't know. Ten to fifteen minutes. About ten minutes, you see. Something like that. Keep stirring. You know, let it soak in like that. Then you stir. Let it keep on going. Let it stir. You don't have to do it like a root. Because, yeah, that's one thing you can't make is a root and go watch TV. You gotta be on that root always. You gotta keep stirring the root. Especially if you wanna do it kind of fast, not fast, but a little faster than normal. When you got it on medium heat, you can't leave a root alone. Not even not even 30 seconds. You're gonna it's gonna start browning too much on the bottom of it. You gotta keep up with a root. That's one thing you can't go sit down and watch a soap opera. Because we don't watch soap operas in this household. They ain't good no more. <laughs> General Hospital used to be the snits. The snits. Luke and Laura was on that General Hospital years ago. Every shrimper in the Gulf of Mexico would watch that. All right, now, here we go. Now we got some diced tomatoes. Going in there, some tomatoes. I'm gonna take the whole can. Is that diced tomatoes or? Let me diced. see. Let me see that. Diced tomatoes. I'd rather yeah. The good time, but oh well. Yeah, that's what we got. I think she wanted some hunts or something. I have. Or some Del Monte, but that's the first can she oh, grabbed. Yeah. About what half a can you put in there, Miss Missy? Almost. Almost a half a yeah, can. I don't want uh, too much tomatoes. Be good. Oh yeah. Now there's different ways you can cook sauce pecan in Louisiana. Different ways. If you're on the bayou down by Dulac, Homa, you know, uh, cut off down there, you know, like on Bay La Food. And on Grand Kaya Bayou, Little Kaya Bayou, which you got Coco Dree, Chauvin, Homa, and then you got, like I said, Bayou La Fouge. Uh, that's Bayou Country down there, southeast Louisiana. It depends on where you're from. If you're a prairie, a prairie Cajun, or like uh, if you're from down in Abbeville, Kaplan, you know, Pecan Island, you're a coastal Cajun. And sauce pecans vary with what you put in it too. Shrimp, uh, pork meat, like this would be chicken and tasso, which is pork, sausage, which is pork, you know, smoked sausage. There's different ways you can do it. Some people add more tomato sauce, or they do it with tomato paste and cook it down and get it thickened up real good and kind of with, with oil and let it come back together Tied. so uh there's just different ways to cook it you know this is missy's way you know it's not a hybrid recipe that's part of mine and part of hers and she's going to use tomato sauce with it in this recipe and it's going to be the hunch brown tomato sauce And there it is. That's what, like a little eight ounce can missing? Something like that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Alright, you're gonna stir that in real good. See, a lot of people, or some people, would do tomato paste and cook it down just like this. But Missy does it to where it's gonna come together right here. Some people put, It'll come to be together. Some people put tomato paste to make it thicker so they yeah. can make it thicker on their own. Right. Yeah, that's true. And I can make it thicker without right. it. Yeah, because we're gonna add uh, root to it. We're gonna add a little that's bit of what, root. That's what 
you know, and it's going to be a store-bought, you know, jar group. We're not going to make the roux ourselves because that would take forever to make the video. <laughs> when I make roux, I make a lot at a time, and then I'll jar it, put it up for later. You know, yeah. some of it, but I'll make a lot. But it usually takes me 45 minutes to make a roux. All right, and we're going to be back in two and two. And we are back. All right. And we got Johnny B in the background. He's on the phone, but that's all right. I'll try to over talk him. Oh, yeah, you see how that yeah, yeah, came together real good. Now, she's going to add a little bit of root. And this is Carrie's roux right here. It's not Savoie's roux, it's Carrie's. But. All right, that's one, two, and that's three, three tablespoons, three and a half tablespoons, something like that. Now she's going to add some water, and that's going to deglaze the bottom of the pot real good, where the tomato sauce actually did that, deglaze the bottom of it. And that little bit of roux right there is going to make it shine. Let it shine, let it shine. That's right. Well, we had some bad weather out here today. This morning about 9.30. Sounded like, y'all know the thunderclaps? And like when you see lightning and you count one, two, and that tells you how, then when you hear the thunder, that tells you how many miles away you are. The storm is, yeah. Well, this was instant, instant. But it sounded like five, five lightning strikes back to back real fast. Bop, 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 yeah. And then the thunder hit it's right away. Me it was, yeah, woke Missy up. I mean, it was bad. I jumped. I mean, I jumped. The dog jumped. <laughs> That little long hair chihuahua we got, boy, she don't like no thunder, no tonight. She don't like that, no. Look right there. Look right there. Oh, you got it. All right, she's going to well, keep stirring, 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 because now they got roux in it. You don't want to burn that. Add a little bit more water. There you go, and that's going to... That's going to thicken it up, uh, thin it down a little bit, then it's going to come together again. It's going to get thick again, and you keep doing that until you get it the right consistency that you want. And then you can throw your meat in and have a ball, have a party. Johnny B, you still looking for that little transistor I lost? Yeah. Yeah, I lost it. Okay. Transistor off of a power yeah. supply board early, and it's almost like a a grain of rice. I want to say it was about actually a grain of rice is bigger than the transistor I lost. So, but no worries. Almost done. Is that to make an order for some? They ain't fourteen cents a piece, I think, like a dollar for ten. I think Miss Miss is going to get some more water. Oh, and the green onion, the onion tops, that's going to come in more later. Because that you don't want to fry down, you know, with the onions and all that. You want that kind of as color, you know, but cooked. You know, like in boudin, you can see the onion tops. All right, there goes all the meat. Juice in there. She ain't discriminating on the meat. It's all of them in there at the same time. Then they got a little bit of juice in the bottom of the, you know, uh, ice cream bucket. So that comes out. That's what gives it the flavor. All right. We're going to let that come back up. And we'll be back in... Let y'all see more. Alright, we are back. Welcome back. Oh, oh, boy, boy, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, look at that gravy. Oh, yeah. 
and we want it just a little thicker than that just a little thicker than that so all you can do is just let it steam out it'll, it and it'll get there you know just put it on a low simmer leave the lid on and it'll get to that consistency you like i like that tomato sauce just like grabbing a hold to the rice a little bit if you know what i mean and there's the onion tops. Oh, we got some parsley yeah, flakes forgot, going in. Dried parsley in. flakes, but you know what the hey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That's plenty. Oh boy. Kind of came out all at one time. That's that's what happens when you open the big part. Yeah. They got two sides on that. One size for the sprinkle. One size for the big big mouth on it. It's gonna come thick as it's gonna let it cook it down. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying earlier. Keep it on like a low, low yeah, simmer. Keep medium. the lid on. Well, she she's got it on medium because she like wants to steam. Put keep the lid on and steam all that flavor in that sauce. That's what's actually happening. It's not on tight, is it? I leave it a crack. Okay. Well, she wants to leave it a crack, but usually up. Uh, I put them tight, and it, it's like that convection heat. It goes up, and then it comes back down like that, and it forces that flavor into the sauce. You know, that's one way of thinking of it. So, but, and she's got some cream-style corn right here. That's not heating up yet because that don't take but a couple minutes to heat up. Oh, I wish you'd have saved some green onions for the corn. We could have put that in there just a little bit. It don't matter. We got some growing in the back in pots, you know. But we have it all year round down here. We don't buy it hardly. So anyway, uh, and that's it right there. But we will be back to uh, to show it off again, and we're gonna grab a little rice. That's cooking that Hitachi rice cooking, a big tin that cup, which you don't see them for sale no more. Except on eBay, but it's mostly the five cups you see, not the ten cups. They are getting rare. Yep, these things are rare. You see them on eBay for like 50 bucks. And they were like 30 bucks, 25 bucks, brand new. And that was years ago. Okay. Like I said, we'll be back after a while and show it off, and we will sample it. All right, we are back. Turn that off just for a sec. All right, we're going to do a taste test on this. Let me, let me have that right there. Boy, look at that. Man. Y'all can see through the steam. That is a beautiful reddish brown gravy all right we're gonna let johnny bass here do a taste test johnny bass with the test okay wait hold on put you a little bit more sauce in there this is what we call it salt okay hold on a minute hold on we're gonna get you a little piece of chicken meat where is the chicken meat? You want a piece of chicken meat or a sausage? No, I just, I'll tell you what, just put me a little piece of tasso right now. Some tasso? Yeah. All right, let's see if I can find a piece of tasso. Right there. Got the dog at no? <laughs> All right, a piece of tasso. Smoked pork. All right. <clears throat> Smoked cured, you know. <clears throat> Hey, right, Johnny Best. Let's see what see. it tastes like. How y'all doing, guys? I remember when Power Stroke Jude and the crew and them said, Oh, you didn't do a taste mm. test, Cajun? Or Boo, you didn't do a taste you test? Taste Very test. good. So, Gamba, eh? Wait. Alright, let's try the little uh, piece of tasso there. That's so tender you can cut it with a fork, huh? Look at that. So tender you can cut it with a fork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that ain't gonna be mm. yeah, boom. Yeah, boom. Salah, salah. All right. All right, guys. Well, 
we got the taste of approval, you know, from Johnny Bass. And we're going to let that simmer. A little while longer than I'm going to turn that on low. And we got the cream style corn. We're going to heat that up a little bit more later when we're ready to eat. So, all right. Say bye, Miss Missy. Bye. Miss Johnny bye. Bass. All right, everybody. Y'all know the routine. It's good being north of the grass. Stay safe. Be that way. Be that way. Stay safe. And as always, love, peace, and crackling grease. Catch y'all later. Plutop.